Okay, so finally we're going to look at how to produce the uh, the settings for the output file, which uh, in some cases is MP3, Windows Media Audio, or WAV. For the purposes of your uh, Music Tech coursework, I want you to upload to Moodle a Windows Media Audio file, which is quite a low file size, like three megabytes or thereabouts, so it's easy to upload and download. But I'm also going to ask you to upload a high quality WAV, which is going to be closer to maybe 15 to 30 megabytes. Not quite so easy to move around over the internet, but a much higher quality for burning onto CD for your final piece of coursework. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is make sure that our selection is correct, which we did in the last video. So we're selecting from the left all the way to the right, making sure it's included the whole track, not too much at the beginning not chopping anything off at the beginning and the same at the end. Okay, then we can go up to the file menu at the top of Cubase and we can choose export and audio mix down. Okay, so we're going to choose um, file export and now we've got this um, dialog box comes up, the export audio mix down. The first thing we need to do is give our track a name. So we'll call it Shopping Mix 1. Okay, we also need to do the standard thing of putting the name and surname at the beginning. So, like, Blogs, Blogs, no, Blogs, Fred, Shopping Mix 1. So that helps me when I download them or when I back them up to the in alphabetical order okay, and, and the second bit of it tells you which number mix it was that you did really important that you keep these organized and the first one we're going to do is going to be a windows media so I'm going to call it blogs fed shopping mix one win media just so it's really obvious which files which without having to look at the extension I need to decide where I'm going to save it to so I'm going to save it obviously I'm using a Mac this looks completely different but you would go to my computer and um, I'm just going to save it in Cubase projects for now, but you'd save it in your named folder on the hard drive. So I'm going to call that um, Blogs Fred Shopping Mix 1, save it there. Okay, now we need to go and tell it what type of file we're going to save as. So we've got um, my options are slightly different because my version of Cubase is different, but I've got an MPEG 3 or an MP3. Um, I've got a WAV file that I can export as, or a, an A for an AIFF, which is Mac's version of a WAV, uh, which you can also get on PC as well. So the options that you'll be presented with in Cubase Studio in college will be WAV file, which is the standard, and you'll also, instead of MP3, you'll be given Windows Media Audio or WMA Audio, and the settings are exactly the same for this. So I'm going to choose MP3, but you'll choose Windows Media. Okay, we need to decide on the bit rate. I want you to choose 128 kilobits a second as your bit rate because that's around about CD quality, um, same sort of quality that you get off iTunes. Um, and 44.100 kilohertz if it gives you an option to do that. And we need to make sure that um, we're exporting in stereo. So 16 bit, 128 kilobits and 44 kilohertz, 44.100 kilohertz. Okay, write them down, I'm gonna say them again, very important. Ready, with the pen, good. Right, bit rate, 128 kilobits per second. Sample rate, 44.100. And finally, if it gives you an option, um, 16 bit rather than 24, okay and then you need to choose if you want to export it back into the track or not so on and so on and so on then you can click on export next thing that will happen is Cubase will start exporting your track exactly the same for a WAV file you would choose um, the bit rate would be 44 sorry the sample rate would be 44.100 16 bit make sure you're using a stereo output um, and there might be a few other different options for WAV uh, but same thing, you need to go up and change the name to Blogs Fred Shopping Mix 2 WAV. Okay, and make sure you're saving it in the right place, and then you can go ahead and upload that final track to Moodle.